So, this is pretty much the default layout of Affinity Designer. You can move things around to have a layout that suits you. To move this tools section, open the view menu and uncheck Dock Tools. You can now move this to a place which is more quickly accessible. You can also move these panels around. For example, I use this effects panel a lot, so I prefer to have it separate. Just drag it out, and you can either leave it floating, or dock it to the edge. Just drag it over until you see the blue box appear. Another panel I like to keep open is the Character tab. You can clip it to the bottom here. To adjust this tools bar, open the View, Menu and click Custom Tools. You can readjust the order and take tools in and out. You can also set the amount of columns you want the toolbar to be. If you have objects that are outside the canvas, but you want to hide them, go to View, View Mode, Clip to Canvas. Now any notes or overlaying shapes will be hidden. In the view menu, check Show Grid. Now you have a grid that you can use to draw proportional objects. To use the grid even more accurately, turn on snapping here, and in the drop down, make sure snap to grid is checked. Now, you will see guides when you follow the grid. If you go into view, grid and axis manager, you will get this menu where you can adjust the grid. Automatic will be the default set. Select basic to change the size of the grid. You can also change the color of the grid lines. And change the opacity. There is also a more advanced setting and cube setting which gives us a 3D grid. If you want to precisely move a shape, click the hide selection while dragging. Now when you drag, the shape selection will be hidden. You can also enable transform origin. This means the shape will be adjusted around the little circle you see in the center. You can move this around accordingly. Now, for page setup, click File, New, and you have a selection of preset pages to choose from. You can choose a specific device size or paper dimension. Or you can go into My Presets and then make your own canvas size. I mostly use a square canvas of 1280 by 1280 pixels. You can change the document units here. You can also choose to have a transparent background. Another option is File, New from Clipboard. The last thing copied will open. You can also go to File, Open. And now you can open images or affinity files from your file explorer. An easy way to access your recent work is, File, Open Recent, and you will find your recent affinity work.
I hope this video has helped you learn about features of Affinity Designer. If you have any questions or videos you would like to see, let me know in the comments.